The students in A.H. Parker High School Student Government Association are looking dapper, dressed in their purple, white, and black business attire, headed to greet their fellow classmates. Good morning. Good morning. Smile, you guys. It is important to greet the students in the morning time because you, they could be having a bad day. Have a great day. From boosting the students' spirits to interacting with the children in pre-K. Those are some of the easier tasks for the SGA. As school leaders, this group of SGA members are tackling more complex issues that continue to plague their hometown and the impact it has on fellow Parker students. The biggest social issue in Birmingham would probably be gun violence or mental health. As a solution, the students hold mental health seminars every other month at their school for those who need it most. So they could release how they're feeling and not act it out. These two SGA members had an incredible opportunity to visit Washington, D.C. with Jefferson County Commissioner Sheila Tyson. There, the students participated in discussions with lawmakers and other key people from around the country, hoping to bring attention to women's rights, the freedom to learn, diversity, equity, and inclusion. To me, the trip was very inspirational. It was definitely an eye-opener just to see women who look like me, young women, express the importance with gun violence and black women mental health also black people mental health and to try to fix the situation back at Parker in the past some students apparently had issues with a new dress code policy the SGA took the students concerns to the school's principal hoping to get a solution and they got it for example when wearing Crocs um, we were able to talk to principal Hudson and he allowed us to wear them on Fridays on spirit day community service is very important for Parker's SGA They've given out clothing to the homeless population and participated in food and gas giveaways in Birmingham. The SGA is continuing to encourage and advocate for the student body and community to vote. They hold voter registration drives at their school. Some people are 18 and they can't register to vote. So we get those students registered to vote. We have um, elections here, so I feel like that kind of inspires everyone to actually, you know, go out there and vote if you can. So I feel like if you definitely start early, then when we're able to vote, um, a lot of students will. I encourage all young people who are 18 and older to go out and vote because it's very important for your future and for ours. Meanwhile, there's this saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Parker has that village. This group of scholars spend a lot of time in the library and recognizes the dedication from Parker alumna and librarian Miss Beverly Brown. The students say she helped prepare them for their SGA roles. She makes sure you uh, are very well spoken. She also is the type of administrative to keep it real with you. She's not going to sugarcoat anything. She's just an amazing person. I always like, like to call her like my school auntie. The scholars also give credit to their SGA advisor, Maia Lake, for preparing them to be successful leaders. She's the reason I even joined SGA. Without Ms. Lake, my photography probably would have been in a standstill. I probably wouldn't have done videography or even tried to continue graphic design. She allowed me to express myself in different ways. Ms. Lake is the type of person that you would call your school mother. She's not afraid to um, get us together. She supports her kids no matter what. She makes sure that our public speaking is top tier. I expect great things from this school here and go her. Go her. <laughs> Preparing these scholars for the world ahead and continuing the legacy of the school's founder, the late Arthur Harold Parker. I'm Fred Davenport, BCS Media.